Yo guys, what up? This is the Blue Gangster here. <clears throat> sorry, I'm a little bit ill and also sorry because of my language, because I'm no English native speaker or something. I grew up in Germany and um, also Czech Republic and I learned English from MTV, so it ain't that good. But I hope it's good enough for you to understand. And why am I, I telling this? Um, it's because uh, I have... a uh, sort of something different to tell um, because usually on my youtube channel i just do let's plays and all that things with video games and shit but uh, most of you already know that i'm a big mj fan michael jackson fan and we've got 2016 now it's march 2016 by the way i don't know if i go on this uh, record this in german but let's just move on so it's March now 2016 and there is still some bullshit going on about MJ is alive and all that shit I mean if you want to believe in Illuminati and all that stuff <coughs> your thing I don't judge you you know but um, there's actually a group with a lot of people and the administrator is Pearl Jr. something you can find her on YouTube she even has her own website with um, a lot of stuff going on proving that Michael Jackson is still alive well to be honest I don't know if he's really dead or real alive but the thing is it's sad. And if if I have to choose yes or no, I say yes, he's dead. And the thing is, um they're they're like making up stories and they get like kind of hit hints and everything like that and um they they just getting all the information and they're like you see there it says he's alive, there is a picture that proves that he's alive and all that kind of stuff. Well, and, and their point is that he has faked his death. And, and that's, where, that's what I want to talk about. That they are telling you or they are like trying to convince you that M MJ faked his death. <coughs> and why won't you believe because um, a lot of MJ's family members said, why won't you believe? And uh, um, the thing is, when you write believe, there's actually an L, an I, and an E for lie. Believe with, with a lie in it, you know? And that that's where they are all coming from and shit. But the thing is, um, even if you got some hints and some pictures... And all that kind of stuff, it just does not make sense. But there's a way more important thing than that. Because, um, faking his death is kind of cruel. It's, it's kind of fucked up for his fans, um, who he really loves. His, his family, especially, especially his mother and his children. And and all that kind of stuff. But the thing is, but the thing is, the the biggest part because if you look at these videos and all of that shit, if you look all of that shit, they they um, they got like creepy background music and all of that kind of stuff. It kind of even scares me when I'm when I'm watching it because I was once watching it not because I want to like have some proof that Michael Jackson is alive, but I wanted to know who actually killed him. That's what that that's what I'm researching. But the thing is if if you're a true Michael Jackson fan, not a fanatic who's like on every one second video, oh I love him, oh he's so cute and everything and I, I like his music, I, I like his performance and, and, and he's the reason why I'm listening and I'm all actually doing something with, with music, you know? So, um, but, but, and I would even buy his stuff, buy his albums and all of that, but I'm, but I'm not like, um, 
passing out when 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 I'm when I will be on on his concert or, or shit. I'm just a fan. I'm not a fanatic. Just to make that clear. But the thing is. But the thing is, if you know who Michael Jackson is, if you call yourself a Michael Jackson fan, and that's that's what's pissing me off. Because they actually think they're Michael Jackson fans, but they're not better than the tabloids. Because they were making Michael Jackson's life miserable. I mean, he hated Neverland because they done big shit. Because of them, the police went to Neverland, his home, and they destroyed everything. They destroyed everything he had there in, in, in his apartment. And and that's why he never wanted to go back to Neverland. Because the media, the tabloids, and the police there, they all, like, destroyed complete Neverland. That's why he just visited it, but never wanted to go back to live there. And the thing is, this, this believers, these believers are not better. Even, like, the so-called Illuminati, they're not better. Why not? Because... They're researching bullshit, they're making a bullshit, and like, kind of forcing other people to believe it, even though they have no 100% proof. I mean, show me a fucking video of Michael Jackson today, where he's singing, where he's dancing, where he just does what Michael Jackson usually did, so we know 100% that he's dead. You got something like that? I haven't seen it by researching all of your websites because I thought all of that is bullshit that I just sc scrolled through and there were just like document types and all of that shit but there was nothing even near to 100% proof of Michael Jackson faking his death. Nothing. That's just, that's just conspiracy bullshit. And you're not better than these tabloids and all of these kind of whatever you want to call them. You're not better. You you even can't call yourself Michael a Michael Jackson fan. You know why? Because first, you're making up things. You ma you you force other people to believe it. You you just type in some bullshit all in all of the videos YouTube has, which just kind of include Michael Jackson. And and the worst part about this, where you actually call your Michael Jackson fan, is that Michael Jackson believed, not believed, but believed and loved God. He always thanked God for everything he got. He never took something for granted. He never said, I made this or undone that, because he said that's all because of God. He believed in God. He believes in God. Even though he's up there, he believes in God. He loves God. So, if Michael Jackson, and you know this when you're a true Michael Jackson fan, loves God that much, would you think he, will, he would fake his death? Because to me, I'm, I'm not that religious, but I think, well, that's, that's the way I feel, that faking his own death is kind of a sign, like, a disrespect to God. You, you disrespect God if you fake your own death. And do you really think Michael want to disrespect God? Do you really think he want to do that? I don't think so. Because no matter how old he was, from 5 to 50, he always believed in God. He always loved God. He always talked about it. And I would never think just... Of a, of a kind of an idea that Michael would somehow disrespect God. But you're telling, you're actually telling other people that Michael is faking his death. So you're telling other people that Michael disrespects God. But he never would do that shit. If you're a true Michael Jackson fan, you don't even has, have to ask yourself. You just know it. It's a straight fact. And, and that's my point. Because you didn't hear it from Michael Jackson's mouth, personally. If he's, if he's still alive, if he disrespects God, none of that. But all that shit you're talking about, you're like 
the same kind as those tabloids and Illuminati are, and you're also the reason, just like the other guys like Sony and AEG, who still make money off of him, even though he's dead, you're, you're the same, you're, you're the same, because you won't let that man rest in peace, even though he's dead, you're still act like, yeah, he's still alive, and this, and that, let that man just rest in peace, let him just chill out, I mean, look what he's done, he had a 45 stage career, he gave you everything he's got, his complete body, his voice, everything, and how do you thank him, how do you respect that, by telling other people that he's faking his death, by, by researching Shit, instead of just letting him rest in peace. Even if he is alive, you're not in the rightful position to, to, to tell somebody or even to make them believe that Michael Jackson is still alive. It's his own thing. It has nothing to do with you. You're not his mother, you're not his father, you're not a family member, you're just a wannabe Michael Jackson fan who can't accept his death. Period. And that go goes out to all of the tabloids, all of that media shit who had poisoned the whole world, making people believe that he was a child molester, right? He was a humanitarian, he fought for all them countries, all them races, everything, and that kid he would have raped had cancer. Would you have raped a kid who had cancer? I don't think so. And still there were some people believing that bullshit. Yeah, right. Because you only believe the bad things, you get poisoned by the me media, and you believe all of that bullshit. If the media would say some bullshit about your own mother, you'd rather believe media and the poison bullshit than your own mother because that's what you did with Michael. What a fucked up world this is. Anyway, that goes out to the Killuminati, to the Illuminati, thanks to the Killuminati, thanks uh, to all the tabloids, to all the believers, just stop that shit, and if you continue that shit, then just don't go on and call yourself a Michael Jackson fan, because if you're a Michael Jackson fan, you just let that guy rest in peace, period. And that's basically it. And I hope all of that will be cleared somehow, but not by the believers, but somehow else, because Michael wasn't just fighting for himself, he was fighting for all of that people who will join all, all of those Sony, AEG, and what else, if if they be, uh, become famous and all of that shit, he was already protecting the future, and instead of listening to him, instead of, if, instead of listening to his voice, but not just reading the lyrics, oh, that's pretty what he says, but actually taking it serious what he says, and heal the world, in Man in the Mirror, and, and in, in, in all of that other songs, just listen to it, and take it for real, not just listen to it, and, and say, yeah, that's cool, that's, that's beautiful, and everything like that, take it serious, and do as Michael says, stand up, Fight for all your own right and protect the people you love. That's what you should do. Heal the world. And if you don't point just as I do, because I'm pissed that you don't point your finger on other people, but on you first. And that's what you should do. That's what Michael told you. And if you're Michael Jackson fan, not a believer, you stop telling other people, poisoning other people with media and all of that bullshit that he faked his death and finally stand up and do something. And that's basically it. <sighs> Hope I will hopefully see you next time on my channel with something different because I don't want to continue with that type of stuff. That's just not my thing. I just had to get that off of my chest and I hope I said 
everything. I did not forget anything, and and I hope everything will be clear. All right. So that's basically it. Um, hope you actually listen to it, and that's the blue gangster. Peace word YouTube. I'm out.